What's up folks, welcome back to another episode of my Hungarian Holy Roman Empire playthrough. Uh, it's 14, it's 17, I wish it was 14, it's 1742. And uh, we have a, a long way to go. Now I'm sitting at peace here, as I just released a subject nation here. Um, I'm realizing that we have, our liberty site is a little bit of an issue. And uh, one thing that would help us, because a lot of them are near around the 50 range, is this Diplo reputation. Our reputation is actually negative. Um, a lot of it is because um, we uh, we annex subjects, but of course the standard negative one that we get, which is really, uh, makes me mad, to be honest, uh, from the occupation of Rome. But of course, we are going to be having a lot of overextension. Uh, right now, we have a heck of amount, which I'm going to hand off to our new subject. Some of it, at least. But the point that I'm trying to make is... I'm going to reroll our advisors and try to get a plus three Diplo reputation advisor, because we're going to begin integrating subjects as well. Now, whilst we are at peace, I want to give away as many... Man, isn't it nice to not have a horrendous amount of subjects? Sweet. I want to give away as many of these Corrible Provinces uh, to our subject as possible until he is, I guess, maximum over extension, get him to core uh, as much as he will up for us. Now, I did kind of um, take it on faith that we would be under 100%, which might have been a mistake, come to think of things. Uh, it might be worth releasing this, for example, as another subject nation, and we can continue feeding him down into Persia the same way. So I will take that into consideration here. Let's continue giving this northern area to our subject. We do have subject slots, uh, so that's not an issue. But yes, the tediousnessness continues. I think it was Tabistan who formed Persia this game because that province is extremely highly developed and it was the capital of Persia, that big mighty Persia, which um, quite frankly, it almost stood up to the Ottomans, this game. Of course, we did weaken the Ottomans somewhat. But it was still impressive and cool. He's seventy percent or seventy-seven percent overextended. So looks like uh, a third subject nation is the way to go, and this is part of the reason that we're remaining at peace for now. I mean, we can check our overextension. It takes a little while to adjust, actually, so we kind of check it. We can't check it in real time, unfortunately. That's ninety-nine percent. Okay. Somehow that was a very small amount we gave to him to cause overextension. D does he not have admin efficiency or what? What's the deal, dude? Uh, either way, he of course will have missionaries to help us out. And I think maybe if we just let... Oh, sweet. We just got 100 admin for completing our mission. Uh, where is this province? Actually, getting 10% manpower modifier is, uh, yes, that's a good reward for us. Give us that sweet, sweet manpower. Okay, we are still over 100. So I'm going to do exactly that. We can do the same method here of essentially coring that up for free, 15, which is uh, not bad. 15 over extension, or 15 development rather. And uh, let's get him to core up some of these as, for us as well. So, here we go. I'm kind of uh, talking to myself a little bit. Commentary is not so flash, guys, when you're uh, desperately not trying to make any more mistakes. Um, it's really coming down to the wire. And I'd be really lying if I said I didn't have my doubts that we're not going to make it. But uh, this is going to be a saving grace for us, is granting provinces and uh, sharing some of the load between admin and diplo. 
but also having them convert provinces for us. Now, I imagine that, um, unfortunately, they're not going to be very stable. But uh, it is what it is. We will have to clean up the ripples for them. We'd be cleaning them up for ourselves anyway. So that's just how it goes. So obviously we are going to push him to 100%. I don't really think there's any reason not to. Well, there might be a reason not to. And that's that our admin is relatively high. Uh, but we've got all this to core up already. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think we'll max it out here. Making him as big as possible. I think that is sensible. Because I plan, actually, to go straight in against... Great Britain. I will push him all the way to 100%, however, first. 90, 97%. Okay, that's that's going to be just about all we could give him, I imagine. Although some of these are very low development, eh? Are they? Okay, that's going to be all we can give him. Cool. Let's core up what remains. Is there anything else I need to do while we're at peace? I don't really think so. I think we're good. Liberty Desire is looking better than ever. Now that our overextension has disappeared a bit, um, it's just New Castile, and I think uh, New Castile actually has a support for independence from the British. At least I thought he did. Maybe he doesn't. I don't know. Um, we've got almost 10k, and our economy is looking pretty good. God, jeez. Our inflation reduction has disappeared from the Pope. And, uh, we're still waiting on that, that third stability, so that's not good. Uh, but at least our inflation isn't that high. Um, I think that's all we need to do while we're at peace. So, obviously, we're going to be declaring on Bahamas. I'm going to be feeding to my subjects, but also myself. The, best, the, the, the biggest issue with him is war score cost. So what I need to do is take 100%. And then, depending on how stable these countries are, we can give some to them, both of them. But I will feed this guy, and I have to really consider that we don't exactly want to block those off. So I'll feed them sort of this region in the north here, which means we could also feed him Tibet as well. Um, the other option I have is to release yet another subject that we could feed some of Tibet. I think, honestly, guys, this subject here is already integratable. I think that's the way to go, dude. I think this is a smart one because it can core both of these guys. I think that's the way to go. Uh, I should really value my peace time. Because we can go down to three subjects. Like, we can feed him a lot and integrate him quickly. Um, yeah, there we go. Alrighty, I have troops poised and ready to go into Great Britain. And our truce with France comes up in four years, but first, let's 100% the British. That's what we're going for right now. And he's actually fighting the French, which is really cool. He might have troops out in the New World. He is one tick ahead of us. We've got discipline. We checked his ideas. He had nothing but quantity, so he's actually looking pretty weak. Sweet. I'm really nervous that I'm making a mistake, right? There's nothing. Don't obsess. Oh. Wait, French Canada? You're a subject though, right? Oh no! What's going on? Oh no! The French are fighting at independence war and the British are guaranteeing them. <gasps> we must... Well, we just have to pray. Huron is a subject of France. Oh no, dude. All of his, all of his subjects are fighting for independence. Some are backing him up, but most of them are fighting for independence. Our only real hope is to uh, be optimistic. That's really bad. Um, that's really bad. It's too late to truce break and annex him. Oh my god, that is the last thing I want to do ever, is fight in the new world as well. Well, you know, 
this is going to help, theoretically, with fighting the English. But the problem is, is that that war will probably play itself out. Look at look at the the war in the new world between them. Um, that's that's the war. I mean, it's the worst. The French need to take Horan's capital, whatever that is, a, a subject somewhere in the new world. God damn it, that's bad. Uh, let's look at it this way: if we take the British subjects. Uh, we might have so much influence in the New World that we can basically play those wars out automatically against the French colonies when they're independent. I just have to be optimistic, guys. Um, that sucks. Uh, luckily, they don't have a huge amount of war score against the French. Hopefully, they can just do their best. Um, I'm wasting time. We should be declaring this war as well. So, let's move a million troops out here. I'm wondering how strong he is. One hundred twenty-one thousand. He's behind us in tech. One hundred and twenty-one thousand. Three stacks is stronger. Sweet. Okay. One thing I really want to focus on when we go to war here is uh, focusing on forts. When I piece them out, I want to make sure I piece out and take the forts. Uh, especially larger forts, if he has l uh, not so large ones. So that I do not have to take them again. In the future. Those are Japanese, Brunei. Okay, we're working on both those. Both those rebels, so let's go to war. Spend some money on development there, that's fine. I should have used a uh, general with my English invading stack. But that's okay. We will reinforce him. There is so much to do, these bloody rebels. Let's go like that and automatically fight them. And I need to send these guys over to Japan uh, ASAP. Da Viet is going to back him up, eh? That's a nuisance. Can't break alliance because he's... Uh... Hmm, that's a nuisance. Because he's a subject of Ming. Can't break his alliance. Okay, let's make sure we have, like, good generals doing doing the action, doing the business. Four, two. Yeah, we want to be get, grabbing some of these higher level forts if we can, so that we don't have to siege them down next time. I also want to be focusing on, on trying to take this war uh, quickly. Uh, but it's hard, man. It's bloody hard, especially if your troops are not even in position. But that should be enough. Uh, now these guys, we should be able to grab a raw marriage with them. Which is a good way to get our relations up. And uh, make sure that liberty desire is not a thing in the future. Oh my god, that was legitimacy, you dumbass. Yep, bad move. Feels bad, man. I'm a noob. We should have 100% not done exactly that. Because it affects absolutism. I really hate that. I talked about that earlier. Um, but just because I hate it doesn't mean, doesn't give me the right to be, to go full retard and act like it doesn't exist. You dumbass monk. Let's walk around the long way here. In case he blockades the strait, which I suspect he will do. Uh, how stable is this region? Seems fairly stable. Another war I want to declare is against Kilwa and separate piece this faction. Um, not calling anything up here, so let's go. When a, a dude returns, 
damn it, dude, I thought it was a good thing that the British were at war because I think it's going to be very easy to invade them here because uh, their troops are probably not on the British Isles. However, uh, turns out I would much rather them not be fighting an independence war for the French colonies. I mean, needless to say, uh, that's not very cool. Now, these rebel factions are both getting uh, fairly close to being successful, but the Japanese should be able to be taken out quickly, right? He does have that fort, maybe not. Oh my goodness. Stressing me out, game. Um, I'm going to go pick up a stack. And send it straight up to Japan, it will be faster. Yeah, so we can't have full faith and confidence either that the uh, English are away. We have to keep an eye on that as well if, if it wasn't tedious enough. It seems like these four stacks are probably going to be overkill by the looks of things to take them out, but, you know... We will do it. Our attrition is uh, really bad. That's why we got to make sure to complete these missions. And uh, I'll be taking it from the Pope when I can. I mean, we should we can take inflation, but I actually oh three star general. Oh my goodness, it's okay. He's one of the few factions that is actually considerably weaker than us, right? Let's look at his military stuff from his actual ideas. It's got yearly army tradition. That's pretty much it, I can see. Yeah, cool. So he's got morale. He's got discipline and morale from offensive and defensive ideas. His general's good. He's behind in tech. Uh, we should do just fine. Oh my goodness, he's going to siege down that low-level fort like instantly. God dang it, game. That's all right, we'll siege it back quickly as well. I think having another stack out here uh, in the islands is uh, not the dumbest thing ever. It's, it's becoming too tedious to do all the stuff at once. Okay, let me think. We would fully annex that, and then that. Would the British be 100%ed by that time? Uh, I think the war against Bahamnas, even though I want it to go really quickly. Where is his capital here? Thank goodness it's a little bit more north than that. He doesn't have that high level forts either. Okay, I'm going to declare this war, but we're not going to be doing much more than that. And uh, it'll be very easy to focus this faction out and fully annex them. That's what we're going to do. God dang it, Japan. Stop revolting. It is very upsetting. Yeah, he bloody well sieged that fort down instantly. But we should not take much longer to do it ourselves. We can take it right back. But those low-level low forts at this stage are... Uh, they're just dumb, quite frankly. They're about as dumb as... Uh, lowering your legitimacy by royally marrying your subjects when it costs you absolutism and then you have to do harsh treatment when you don't have any bloody military points to spend. They're about that dumb. Wow. I don't know how many colonies exactly we have inherited, but uh, each time one of them that I'm not 100% aware of disappears, we gain a big boon to our economy. Yeah, the smart move here is probably... Ah, oh, well, this will stop missionaries. God. 
Uh, okay, I think half a stack is strong enough to deter them. Let's go take these dribbles out. Uh, just hit both these forts, and then we'll be able to fully annex, fully annex that guy soon afterwards. So New Castile is genuinely mad, eh? Um, we could spend the vast majority of our money to pay off loans and sort that out. And actually, I think that is worth it, guys. That was like 5k. That was a lot. Oh, yes. Of course. Our subjects are going to be fighting the British subjects. Oh, yes. Maybe that will allow France to get a white piece there. Nice. Actually, yeah, that's really good. That's really good. The French, uh, the British subjects, rather, they're having a hard time against us. Nucleusiol in particular. Um, either way, guys, what I was trying to say is... Oh, we have another merchant available, eh? Let's try to utilize that somewhere. Anywhere. Uh, Nucleusiol gives us a crap load of money. If he gives us that crap load of money every month until the end of the game, then uh, that, that was worth the investment, believe it or not. That is what I'm trying to say. Okay, all of the stuff we're pulling nicely, just automatically, because there's essentially no more influence here whatsoever. Uh, so, we took a guy from Novgorod. I think actually here, there's not that much wealth to be had. Um, let's look at... That's all coming. We could pull some out of... Chinese regions, which are really wealthy. I'm sure you guys are not interested in this. I shouldn't be spending so much time on this. It's a decent amount in Persia, but we don't have a huge amount of control there. That. Right there. Some of this goes up to Russia, though, eh? Which some of it goes to the English Channel. Still, I think if we... We, we can pull a tremendous amount here, 50% of which we will get 100% of. I think that's the best place. This will increase our, like, be literally like 10 ducats a month. And uh, to be honest, the rest ends up in the English Channel, most of it anyway. Um, we are about to have massive influence over the English Channel. Stop opening the trade menu because it lags everything out. So let's look at what 100% overextension looks like. Oh no, man. Ah. <sighs> It's not that much. It would have been a little bit more, probably about that, if I didn't ruin the absolutism. Um, hmm. It's gonna it's still going to give us dominance over the English Channel. What I would like to prevent, though, is his capital being in the English Channel. That would probably do it. Okay, guys. Do you think I should start a golden era? <laughs> Do you think I should start a golden era? I kind of think so. I think this is the moment. I think I should do it. It would reduce the harsh treatment cost. Um, oh my goodness, that is so upsetting. We have literally no military points, man. I w really wish I didn't uh, get those raw marriages, but whatever. Um, if I did it, I could start boosting my... Well, we don't have any rebel factions. Ah, oh, there we go. I could do it twice. We need to do this once anyway. I think I should go into a golden era finally, guys. But uh, we'll wait. Our power projection has gone below 50. And unfortunately, I don't think it is ever going to go back above 50. So that, that feels bad, man. Let's see if we can go out and uh, deal with these Japanese troops. Before they are successful. Let's jump onto Horm... Excuse me, Hormuz. While our navy passes by... My poor manpower. Um, I'm thinking... Probably... I 
I'm trying to think how many more stacks we need. Because we've kind of overkilled it here on, on Britain, and they're going to be much easier going into the future. Uh, I've got quite a few. Like, this this will be enough, mostly, to handle the, the Asians repetitively. Um, I'm going to build my cannons template. Hang on. I think two more maximum. Ah, oh, I don't want to do it automatically, dude. Don't care. I'm going to go 20. Okay. Get 20 cannons. There's going to be at least one more stack there, but I'm going to do some deleting of some troops as well. And uh, I'm going to start, unfortunately, that costs us manpower, you know. It costs us a lot of manpower. In fact, what I'm going to begin to do is... Oh, don't split those up. Um, what I'm going to begin to do is these guys who are assuming we have money, I'm going to start consolidating these infantry and topping them off with mercs. These are British colonies. I hope the British don't have really obnoxious islands. They are the guy who has actually been chilling around for so long. He might have built forts all over his islands. That would uh, that would feel bad. Looks like I'm actually sieging up each fort that I can reach from Bahamas. I'm nervous that those Japanese troops are going to be successful. But I think we're okay. Um, I should be blockading London. It's my bad. Speed it up. But we've been, thankfully, been progressing okay. Um, oh, hello. Didn't expect that. Actually, I have no idea what troops are out there. I think maybe, because he just won a battle, I think maybe one... Mercenary was out there, maybe? I don't know what we just lost. Um. Hmm. Yeah, well, they're suffering attrition. Let's have a look at what 100% looks like, because this is not overextension, it's 100%. Remember, let's have a look. We're going for the 100%. Of course, we might have to separate piece Daviet to do that, which would be uh, annoying because it might take a little bit longer. And we can boost our absolutism up by the time we piece out to take a little bit more. Oh man, looks looks pretty good. It looks pretty good, but we have to make it as fast as we can. Taviet is actually considerably weaker than us. in tech uh 41,000 a a one stack could do work on him dude let's go pick up one stack and begin we just want to go for the white piece That's what I'm looking for. Mercenaries. And eight cavalry. Okay, so this is basically a stack we just need. Uh, God, where are the cannons? Five more cannons. Okay, that's one stack. And then... I'm going to set up another one here, and I'm going to delete what's left. Oh, 
Hope I didn't mess that up. What have we got here? That doesn't look right somehow. Because I want to add 10, 20 cannons to that. What have we got here? 8 and 24? It should be, what, 22? It should be 22. That's what we're going for. For now. Okay. Two more stacks. That improved our economy a little bit, I imagine. Good luck, France. Get that white piece so that I can declare on you. And then that is all of Asia, apart from Scandinavia. So I'm going to do one more Scandinavia. What does this war score cost? Sweet. It's so low that I think uh, if we increase our absolutism, we can 100% him and it won't cost. It won't be overextension, I think, once our absolutism goes up. And then uh, same thing for France. France should be one war. One war to take them out. One war to end them all. Uh, these Japanese are scaring the crap out of me. They're progressing so fast. And I took these ripples out, right? Go end this war separate piece. Wow, are you for real? The lag. Jeez, that costs a lot of diplo. And we don't have the war score cost in the separate piece. Arrgh! Okay, we should white piece him then. I need a bloody navy over here. I really wanted to take out Africa. Um, yep, we should be doing that. <sighs> okay, so we need to white piece this guy and we need a navy over here, but I feel like going for Darviet is, is the smarter thing. White piece that guy which only gives five years truce and then we'll have to do take him out in a separate war. Jeez. Are you for real? He takes that back instantly. It's so typical. Okay, let's do New Castile loses tariff value for liberal desire. That's fine. Hi, XI. Huh? Hello. I should probably declare war on him before he becomes the tributary of Ming, but he's, he's actually so small. Um, um, I, th I think, I think that it, that's basically inconsequential, I think. It's just such a small amount, and we, we actually want to basically exploit the tributary states anyways, so. Okay, can I reach another forge? It doesn't look like it. Oh my god, are you serious? We're so far away. Oh, this is stressing me out. I'm gonna start sieging those back. London was finally taken out. Okay, some uh, revolts in the New World. It's nice to not see any... Liberty desire, guys. That's cool. Wow. The British seem to be easy peasy. They basically are off in the new world doing other things. So that's, that's some good news, I suppose. Uh, let's... Do we value our Navy tradition? Holy crap, dude. We gained so many sailors. Even if all of our ships are at sea, it seems that we, we are still a gaining. So that's cool. Didn't I have guys coming over here? I thought I had a stack coming over here from Egypt. Where you at? I could have sworn that I... Hmm. Piss off Kilwa. Um. What? What? Didn't I have a 50 stack here that I, see, I was walking over here to send to Daviet? 
Where did you go? That one I was sending to Japan, I'm aware of that. Huh, I guess I'm, uh... I'm retarding it up, guys. Sorry. What the hell? Okay. I could have sworn I had a stack there. I, I must have just moved them and uh, not realized it. Um, we were going for Daviet with it. Should I wait until this comes? It's a while, or should I pick another one up that's nearby? How about we... How about we pick this guy up? That should be enough if we attach a general to take Daviet out. Because his tech is bad. Um, however, we should be walking over to Asia or something. The painful thing... Here, grasslands, sweet. That's not too bad. Is the attrition. It's really painful. It's killing me. Okay, we got taken war score against England. Um... I can't reach that. I could, considering he's got no dudes here, basically. I'm going to start sieging up his other fort as well in Ireland by just transporting there. We'll, we'll do automatic transport. Hopefully it will bloody pick it up from the right place. There we go. Cool. No, it... it... This automatic transport makes me want to kill myself. This navy's doing fine, at least. Okay, I don't, I don't know what the hell was happening there. It's okay. I want to go straight for these troops and then uh, start sieging his stuff back. Make sure we've got a high level siege general. Because that's stressing me out. Too close for comfort there. Uh, the tedium is real. Uh, uh, it's nice to see uh, almost exclusively, guys, the feedback has been don't worry about the tedium, like just show it all. So uh, that's cool. I'm glad you guys enjoy the monotony of trying to uh, do everything as we try to conquer the entire world. Okay, that was a fort. Haha, we seem to have broken through a lot of opportunities here to, to siege falls down, including his capital's there. Okay, not quite his capital, but we're, we're getting there. And remember, he only had 120,000, so three stacks is actually way more powerful than him. What's he? What does he be? Oh, wow, he went all the way up to 170,000. Okay, three stacks uh, would only compare. So we got to be a little bit careful. Okay. Is that enough to white piece? Sweet. Just go for white piece for the shortness. And I think that... Um, Kilwa should no longer exist. Which is his only ally. Yeah. Uh-oh. He seems to have some troops here in Ireland. Seem I think he's uh, transported some troops home, eh? The British? Gotta be careful. Oh, what the... Oh, that's the one the guy. Okay, let's... Um, equip a siege general... Nice. It looks like those mercenaries actually stopped progressing, though. The uh, the Japanese rebels. So that that was really actually scaring me, big time. Uh, sweet. So we're we're good on rebels. Phew. Um, I should also. I've got another available. Let's make sure that wasn't the same one. It was the same one. Send this guy out to Daviet. We want to. I guess white piece, Darviet. Yeah, there's no point spending our military. Um, although, actually, break his alliance. We'll break his alliance. That's what we'll do. Um, that's his capital there. Nice, it's a low level fort. So let's go straight for his capital. It's in farmlands. Doesn't give him the best defensive bonus if he assaults us, attacks us. Uh, 
yeah. And uh, annul his alliance with Bahamnus, whatever his name is. Bah. Bahamnus. Bah. That's his name. I know it. You don't need to tell me. Negative one to rolls. It's fine. As long as we defeat that fool. Then we, sh we should win the war as long as we win the battles. Alrighty. Converting up this region of the world fairly nicely. So the plan, of course, is to kill Kiltla. But I need a navy to do that. Naturally. The plan is to kill. Kill, kill. Went in the battle. Now he has some troops up in Russia just wasting away. Wasting their lives up in Russia. Who wants to do that? Shots fired at Russians. Uh, I guess we're going to declare on Japan soon. Let's, let's mobilize this navy. Those guys can stay on Japan and they can stabilize Japan. That's fine. Daviet is there. Cool. Nice to see his troops not being that productive. Um, now, only about a year has passed, guys, since I started this episode. So, whew. A part of me wants to keep it going really slow. Because a part of me feels like it's the only bloody way that I'm, I'm actually going to achieve the World Conquest. If, is if I really take it really slow and, and try not to make mistakes, you know. Um, but I'll tell you what, 60 more episodes... I mean, would be like 60 more years. Uh, I will I will try. I'll certainly try to get into a routine of actually getting things done each episode. But, wow. This is like a massive series. And uh, some people have been complaining that I'm not uploading other things as well. Um, I I'm not going to lie, guys. This I did plan to upload other things. And I am working on something right now. But uh, this did take a little bit more. It's not energy, but like time than I really anticipated it would. Um, and I'm sorry for that if you are those one of those people who wanted me to upload other stuff. Um, but there's a few reasons why I'm, I'm doing things this way, like with daily uploads. Like I'm just being completely open and like honest with you guys. Um, one thing that I've heard from like really popular YouTubers is that YouTube, like the algorithms are extremely biased to people who oversaturate their content and don't get me wrong i actually think that my channel has like stagnated compared to as as if i uh, just kept trying to build it off god dang it there's inflation uh making a certain kind of video that has more uh response holy balls our manpower's just gone to poop um that's, that's what our mercenaries are going to come into play for um the reason I'm doing things this way is not because I think it's the most beneficial thing of the channel. It's, I really want to get into the habit of it. I really want to know what it entails. Uh, like, you guys will notice that I, I upload pretty consistently and frequently compared to my previous series. For me, it's really a learning experience. I want to um, know what it all involves, like making a thumbnail, everything. The little things and the big things. And I've got my eyes set high in the future, but I, I'm actually just learning right now. I'm, I'm trying to take it slow. Obviously, I've got my own life as well. And I am working on other content as well. Um, I'm also just learning by doing, you know, and I'm thinking about whether or not... Because I, I have actually felt like uh, uploading other stuff... And I feel like if I if I am doing a series like this, that's bad. God dang it, we need more generals, man. But I'm, I'm actually capped on generals. That's bad because of the replenishment that that, that stack's going to go through. Uh, if I'm uploading every single day, it becomes hard simply in that one regard. Let alone other regards, just to upload more. Like in terms of my internet speed and stuff. So it's a hard one. I'm learning, I'm figuring it out, but I'm glad that there are some of you who watch and some of you who enjoy. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't achieve too much, 
but that big scare I was scared of those rebels has been resolved and that's just going to be about an episode here guys so I do have some even though we're behind some military power to spend not so sure I have harsh treatment that costs 50 but if I do which I don't think I do maybe Armenian no um, I'm gonna consider going into a golden era guys there we go looks like we do I'm gonna consider going into a golden era but I, I really want to make the maximum make the most out of it and uh, I'm going to for that reason wait until I'm ready to peace out speaking of peacing out the British are getting closer, we've got ticking war score, but we're also working on most of his forts. And I think we can get his enthusiasm down low very quickly. Um, one issue that I have is when we take this from Bahamnas, we kind of want to be at peace. It's a bit of an issue, you know? But I think one of our solutions here to speed things up, guys, is going to begin going over 100% overextension. That's something that we're going to begin doing. And in two years' time, our truce is up with France, which is going to allow us to get the reaction bonus. Really hoping that he kind of white pieces this and uh, still maintains his colonies. I hope you guys enjoyed that set for this episode. Uh, the reaction bonus, even if we're 100% or over 100% over extension, is going to help us uh, stabilize our country. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. That's it. And uh, wish me the best of luck, guys. Can we do it? It's mostly coming down to a huge amount of Asia, East Asia for the most part. We'll see if we can do it in the future episodes.